Hey, yo, together and very welcome to the StarCraft 2 Crazy Replays today. Today, today on Frost Letter Edition with a nice TVC, which I just recently played, but due to a new version, uh, you see it on the overlay already, I can't use the SV Rush overlay. So, yeah. But I didn't want to not show you the replay, so here we are. Spawning in the top left position of Rust Ladder Edition, playing as the Blue Surf for himself, it is Mephis. And he is playing against me, the Red Terran, spawning in the bottom right position of Rust Ladder Edition, playing for Pro Kings, Alex Asher. And I really hate this normal overlay, it's not good. I tried to switch to the SV Rush overlay, but it doesn't work. I don't know why Blizzard doesn't take care of such things. It would be awesome to rewatch older replays sometimes as well, which is if if the replay is too old, it's not possible. And that's I dislike that a lot. It can't be that difficult. League of Legends manages to do it, I think. So why not Blizzard? Uh that's that's strange and sad. But, okay, so it is cross position on Frost. And that is indeed... Well, can be tough for both player. Normally I would say it's, it's tough for Terran. But it really depends on how this game goes. Uh, so far it's Hatch, Pool, Gas, as it looks like. Standard stuff. And for me, I don't know if I did play the Hot Style. Or the normal 16 Marine Medivac drop. But for now... Yeah, second reaper, that seems to be, it, it should be the hot style, which can be quite strong, but also can be quite vulnerable and greedy. So we will see how it plays out, but cross position, mm, I should be fine. Going for a macro oriented build is indeed the right call, I would say. And yeah, Meph is so far just scouting with the overlord. That's totally fine. And I'm banking the reaper just in case of any circling run by and there we go factory and another refinery and for Mephis mm, four circlings two queens speed that's quite normal he's still mining gas so he could go for overload speed as well but we will see if he decides to do so or go for some kind of tag the reaper leaving the bases at uh, the base to scout for the circle I mean ooh two circlings one to the watchtower the other one I don't know actually Maybe towards the natural of me. Uh, yeah, what's with the gas, Mephis? We will see. So there's the circling, will confirm I'm cross position, might get in. Uh oh, uh oh. Oh yeah, gets onto the supply depot. Which can be very annoying. So the Reaper are heading back home. Uh, he should have gone in to confirm the early third command center. Instead, he's just attacking the supply depot, and I don't really like that decision. So, the Reaper dies. Uh, oh, yeah, wait a second. There's one very important thing. Uh, damaged. Yeah, that's important. Okay, that, that is really important. Sorry that that happens if you can't use... Oh, okay. So four gases and a layer tag. Could be for roaches, but as we don't see any roachron, I assume it should be Nutilis. Oh, poor little unbuildable rocks. Gonna get taken out. And burrow. Okay, burrow. And a bailing nest. Okay. So we might see some bailing bombs in this game. And... To be honest, this can be very strong, um, especially up to GM or even in GM. It's it's a very rarely used tactic, but it's and a spire. Wow, but it's super strong. You know, it is indeed super strong because normally, if you don't anticipate it, sure it's an investment, but it only costs 100, 100, and you need to track your own bane links. So, but if you do that. The payoff can be very, very huge. So, we will see. Oh, 
Oh my goodness. Didn't take out the watchtower. That's a big mistake. That's a very big mistake. So Mephis knows what's coming. He's morphing Baneling. Banelings, that's fine. I still wonder why we don't have any music. Come on. Yeah, well, the old client I am forced to use is not really good. I do miss the spire, but I do see the lair, so yeah. I assume it's gonna be Mutalisks, and I pull back just in case of Nidus Network, which should normally already be out, I think. So yeah, it should. I think it should hit, or it should have hit already. But going back at home for now is fine. Scouting with the Reapers also okay, and the Unmuted is coming, but also the uh, Carapace upgrade. How it's called? Pnoi Pnoi Metized Carapace. I better just call it Carapace upgrade or Overlord Speed upgrade. Pneumatized, pneumatized, pneumatized carapace. I think I got it. Oh, there's one Benji, no cloak. But I will confirm the Mutalis are out. So the Benji uh, was an expensive scout, but it's okay. Income wise, yeah, it's looking fine. Uh, worker wise, I'm ahead, so if I don't take too many hits, that's good. And, oops, there we go. Circling. Where are the mutalisks? Ah, still back at home. So my production is going up very nicely. And I might wanna take the space, yes, but oh, oh there's a circling blocking the command center. That is indeed annoying. And are there any, any bane bombs yet? No. So he just used Burrow for just circling here and on the potential fourth base so far. Here are the mutants coming, not too many to be honest. So overall Mephis style is very risky in my opinion. He sees it however, yes, he sees where my army is, goes back. Uh, but bailing bombs can work out. Mm. Still the circling there, orbital command. Come on, land it. Ah, seeing the Mutalis is nice, but losing the Reaper for that. There we go. And drop the mules. There we go. So that's that's nice. I am ahead and Comage and 1-1 one, one is that's the good thing. 1-1 one, one is finished while his 1-1 one, one is just on the way. So I will have a heavy upgrade lead. And his army is not looking too scary. His tech is okay. But not the best. Ooh. There are Baneling bombs now. Ah, oh, the Widow Mine. Nice. And the turret, so he won't find any damage. Normally you can be safe with only one turret, but if your multitask is not good enough. Or the Zerg is going heavy into Mutalis, having two or maybe even three turrets can be worth it. Okay, the Viking won't find any damage here. Might get taken out sooner or later. Oh, the Mutalisk. On the hunt. Will they find the Viking? No, so far that's not the case. He's getting into uh, towards the hive deck with the infestation pit. That is very good. And yeah, this is the 2-2 push with the yeah the 2-2 upgrades. It should hit soon, but uh-oh. There are the Bane Bombs. Oh my goodness. Is he paying attention? He should know. He should know. Oh! <laughs> Disgusting! You just saw how, how like 20 to 30 supply immediately dropped if he gets two or three more Bane Bombs. Oh, that's so unfortunate, that scan. Misses it completely. Oh no. Oh no. Oh no. Oh no! Well, that was the push. <laughs> wow. That was so impressive. And it's so annoying. Oh, racing the Banelings into the... Into the hell. That's not the best thing to do. But he can with the mutants just overwhelm those Marines. Even though they have 2-2 and the Medics are there to heal it. They are just... 
too many mutalists currently. And he takes really good trades. So yeah, as a turn player, either you go for a raven and protect it like crazy, or you need to spread out the entire time when you want to move out so you don't clump. Uh oh, big attack coming in, no Bane links, and it's 2-2 against 1-1. One, one. But Mephis just outnumbers me and takes a very good lead, 50 supply up. Does he have the killer instinct? Ah, oh, there are the Bane links, the circling's anti mutalis And only turrets here. Oh, the Bane links are coming in. No, they're not! Oh... Bane Burrow Trap doesn't get anything done, but there are the Banelings! Oh, so close! So close! Wow! Nice save on the SCVs. That was so close. Doesn't even get the turrets. He killed four workers with his attack, and that's it. Ah, the Mutalist. Now they might fight some damage. Yeah, three more, but... Was that worth it? Oh, I like the position of the Banelings morphing behind the... B uh, brushes here or bushes what's the plural of bush uh, or the side blockers uh, but very very nicely done but yeah now it's now it's quite close again and I still have to upgrade lead. uh oh the widow mines the widow mines the widow mines oh <laughs> a disgusting hit uh oh oh who uh both players need to be so careful. More bailing bombs. And yeah, either you scan the entire time so you don't drop mules, and with three command center you might be able to do that. Or you need to pre-split the entire time when you move out. All the time. So that the bane bombs won't find major hits even if he does pay attention to it. So mm. uh, Bane Bomb! Ooh, gets a couple of nice uh, hits there. Kills quite some marines. And is the hive tech done? Yes. So Ultralis Cavern also done. And the Chitinous Plating on the way. That is really good. So Ultralis, they are very, very strong. We will see how this game plays out. So far it's looking not too bad for me. But to come back to the Bailing Bombs. Um, if he wouldn't have shown the Burrow uh, circling, then there would have been no way to anticipate that. So, oh, carefully with the Vidomine at the turrets. He gets both turrets in a nick of time. Wow. Yeah, he has nice upgrades there. And he killed quite some worker in total. So there are only 50 left for me now. And I don't have the bank nor the income to say, yeah, I could spare those SCVs. I need them. Uh, there are some counter attacks going on, but yeah, Mathis. Very well pre prepared here. The creep spread not looking too solid. If he would have worked on that, this would have helped him a lot. But back at home for me, fusion core on the way. So we will see Liberator because of the upcoming Ultralisk. Which is funny because I never scouted it. I just think, yeah, maybe. Maybe it's Ultralisk. If he would go for Brute Lords now, the Liberator would be totally useless. Ah, oh, so many Mutalisk. But there are so many turrets as well. Does he want to fight there? Loses two Mutalisk so far. A third one. Okay. And even more Mutalisk. That's not worth it for the turret. So as a Terran player, you are always... Of course you are annoyed if you lose the turret. But if they kill a Mutalisk, if you... If you kill a Mutalisk for a turret, that's so worth it. You should be happy then. Even though it's annoying because you need to repair and rebuild that, but it's it's good. It's really good. And he goes in again, and this time they are liberated and widow mines. Oh, he needs to be so careful. He doesn't have the uh, watchtower near my bases. So I know now exactly where the mutilists are. Gets one there. Where is his ultralist? There they are coming. Okay. Big attack, more bailings. He does have 2-2. Two, two. Again, 3-3, three, three, but so many marines. They are not really good against ultralist. <coughs> oh, off creep, dead engaged, the Marauder are clumped, the Banelings not finding the best connections and ooh, Burrow Banes, that's nice, this Ultralist will be so dead those Ultralists taking a very good fight there but will it be enough? he only has those three Ultralists left and a lot of Burrow Banelings 
And most of his supply are in his mutilists and the drones. So, yeah, his army is not the most scary one currently. But those banelings, man, they if they could find a major hit here, that would be really nice for him. He's on five bases. He, he has the bank. Look at that. He could produce way more. Ah, nice shot. A ah, nice connection there. Oh, I should really get those banelings. There we go. And there we see finally the Corruptor against the Liberator. Still the Burrow Banelings there. Unburring now, okay. Oh no, you can't engage right there, that's so bad! Into the Liberator flank with the Banelings coming in, but the splits are okay. But the Ultralists are so strong. Loading into the Medivacs and boosting behind the Liberator wall, that's not bad. So many Mutalists died there, right? I can't check. How many are left? Four, yes. He lost a lot of Neutralists there. And some Ultralists as well. Might lose the, his entire army there. Yeah, this Ultralist will be so bad. Look, look his bang. Look at his bang. Halfway gone. And I'm taking a fourth, uh, fifth base. Which is the main orbital command. The upgrades for my Liberator are okay. And his upgrades are... Uh, three two, so he's behind one upgrade. That's not the biggest deal. It's okay, but it would definitely be good if you had it. Oh, there are so many liberator. Really much through it. That's risky, but he seems to be fast enough. Ah, uh, taking quite some, it's quite some damage there. Serious damage to be honest, and he needs to retreat. Marauder are really good, and he only has plus. Yeah, he only, have, he only has 7 armor, so with the 3-3 three, three upgrades against the 3-2, Marauder are dealing way better damage against Ultralist than they should do. Now he's taking the bases, that is nice. Mm, he's still heavy on drones, only Ultralist and Corruptor, and that's normally not working. You need something to back it up, like, ah, he's going for the counter-attack. But yeah, Speedlings, Banelings, something. Only Ultralist normally doesn't work, but he has a lot of Corruptor here. Oh, only 9, okay. Will we see a base trade? It could happen. Here's a small marine force going in on the fourth base of him as well. Hmm, the planetary fortress will get mass repaired. There's a Liberator here. Will he get it? He should. And yeah, the planetary falls, but at what cost? Why oh, get some... A lot of SUV kills there. That is nice. Um, hmm, but the Widow Mines did a lot of damage as well. Oh, he still didn't clear. Oh, those three Marines. That's a bad fight. Liberator against the Corruptor and the Bio against the Ultralist. It's not how you should play this game. Uh, fights everywhere. I might get even this hatchery. Oh, that's massive. I lost so many Liberator, now down to only 3, might lose some more, oh no, don't fly past the turrets! They have the range upgrade, and they deal a lot of damage. Oh no, Widow Mines, dealing good damage here, not killing anything, but he lost the hatcheries, and with that a lot of his income as well. Mm, a random queen in the middle of the field. Not doing too much, but yeah, my macro looks okay enough to still be able to win this game. Even though I did trade really poorly in the start, now it's looking good for me. So the later engagements I took were awesome. Oh, the Widow Mines! That's, that was six spreading. Wow. Well played. Really well played. Does he have Overseer? Yes, takes those Widow Mines out. And there we go, and again checking for the bases, if I can cut this income that would be awesome. Ah, big stim, 60 marauder, that's so strong. Another stim, will they fight the infestor? Yes they will. And now I can just kite back, look at the damage the, the ultralists are taking. Because they lack the upgrade. So it's 13 damage, minus 7 is 6. Multiplied by 2 is 12 damage each shot, and that's still decent. And yeah, that's just way too much Terran here. 
Uh, I don't even need to micro this any further. Uh, even though he will win the air battle. Uh, no, there are too many marines. So trading the corruptor for the... I should not waste all the Medivex and the Liberator, which I'm currently doing, but he doesn't have the bank to re-establish his army, nor can he defend the spaces. Grads, Protoss, Untermensch, yes, GG, uh, and that's it, that's game. So bailing bombs are awesome. If you play Zerg and you are on top with your multitask and your creep spread, go for it. Do it. Bane bombs can win you the game. And it's such a small investment, but you are not allowed to forget about them. So plant if you if you know the map very well, then you can have some maybe here, some here, some at the watchtower, uh, some at that corner if it's cross position now of course. Some at, at that corner. And then you said lots of like 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 a widow mind field just with bane bombs, which is way better because you can't split against them. If you if you see it, it's most of the time too late. You can pre-split, that works. But if you're on top of them, then that's really, ah, really risky. Okay, thank you so much for watching. Hope you enjoyed. As always, I wish you a very nice day and good one. Hey, oh there, thank you for watching. If you'd like to support me, simply hit the thumbs up button. Do you have any wishes, feedback or suggestions? Put them into the comments below. You may also subscribe if you're new to the channel. I wish you a wonderful and stress-free day. Take care. Bye-bye. Thank you.